Around three months ago, I built CreatorVoice.com, a set of AI tools to help YouTubers grow their YouTube channels by helping them make better content very easily. And today, in this video, I'm rebuilding CreatorVoice from scratch in just seven days. Since I made the first version of CreatorVoice in just 24 hours, there were some issues and glitches. So to build new features and solve the issues, I'm just going to rebuild CreatorWise starting from zero because I would honestly do everything from the beginning rather than having to edit the garbage code I wrote in just 24 hours. But the catch is that I have to do everything in just seven days. So why don't we just build a full stack AI startup with a video idea generator, YouTube title optimizer, keywords and tag research, category trend tools, and many other tools in just a week. This was a huge mistake. First of all, since I only have around 7 days to code everything, I didn't want to spend hours designing HTML web pages. So I looked online for bootstrap dashboard templates. It's totally not because I'm too lazy and suck at web design. I'm using bootstrap now because it's now my favorite CSS framework. Friendship ended with Bulma CSS, now bootstrap is my best friend. Finally, I found this epic dashboard template by themesberg.com, which is perfect for my use case. So I copied, oh no 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 no. I duplicated or borrowed the code from it and customized it for the new version of CreatorWise. I then tried to design and build a few custom pages and finally the dashboard is kinda taking shape. It looks pretty decent honestly. Now that we're done with the design, I started setting up the server for the backend. I copied most of the code for the authentication for the login and sign up pages from the first version of CreatorWise. So it honestly didn't take me that long. I now started working on implementing the video idea generator. Here's how it's supposed to work. You put in your YouTube channel link and then the AI takes your videos and generates video ideas that are in your style of making videos. I spent a lot of time working on this feature as I think this feature will push YouTubers to sign up for the app. There were so many issues, I don't even want to talk about it now. But I finally fixed them by honestly googling a lot. I also improved the AI model and it now works way better. Sometimes you might want to make Make videos about new topics probably because your old videos suck like mine or you're just starting out and don't have any videos uploaded so to help channels like those i started implementing a new feature to make video titles based on keywords this is pretty easy to implement but i also wanted to show similar videos in the same niche 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 whatever you call it Niche. I used the YouTube API to search videos in the entered keywords and it worked great. I finally completed coding it and called it the title generator. This is honestly the most useful tool in CreatorWise in my opinion. It helps a lot in video research. I wanted CreatorWise to be a toolkit that will help YouTubers grow their audiences. So I only wanted to implement the features that will help them achieve this goal. This was the reason I wanted to create a YouTube keywords tool. This took me a lot of time to build as I had to use a lot of APIs along with GPT-3 to make it work. It allows the users to find trending tags and topics easily by just entering a keyword. Right when I started building this feature, I realized that YouTube also launched a very similar feature on the YouTube studio called the research tab. I anyway built this because mine was way easier to use and a little bit more advanced. Then I built another feature by just copy pasting the YouTube API code I wrote earlier to build another awesome tool that finds similar videos in your niche or category. This tool helps you do research in your category and also gives you some inspiration. One of my favorite things to do to kill time with this tool is to just bang a few random keys on the keyboard and see the really weird videos it shows you. Keeping up with what's trending in your category is kinda hard. So I wanted to build a tool that helps users with exactly that. I spent an hour building this and for now it's honestly not that impressive. You can select a category from the drop down and then it shows you the trending news. It's pretty basic but it gets the job done. I'll improve this by adding images or something later. Most of the functions and tools are now implemented. So I started implementing the payment system with Stripe. It didn't take me that long to implement the payments. For now, I'm keeping the price at $20 per month. But I'm not making any promises because I know that I'll constantly experiment and increase the pricing. I also built a really simple settings page and the web app is almost done. Since I only had around two days left, I now started working on the landing page. I spent a lot of time on the landing page and tried to make it as 
simple as possible. I added a video for each tool on the landing page and the dashboard to explain how it works and it now looks pretty good. I used my DigitalOcean VPS to host the app and it's finally live at creatorwise.com. I sent an email to all the existing users and they're having so much fun exploring the new version of Creatorwise. So yeah, that's how I successfully rebuilt creatorwise.com in a week. This video is a part of a challenge that I'm participating in myself. The idea is pretty simple. I have to spend seven days on building the web app and the other seven days actually trying to market the app. So expect a part two real soon.